Could you tell us your title? I'm Supervisor of Youth Programs for Continuing Education. Okay. Are you offering any new classes or camps this semester? We are. Um, one of our most popular camps has been a pet lovers um, oh. camp for 11 to 13 year olds. And in previous years, um, parents have had frustrations because they couldn't get their kids in. And this year, we've added a section. So we now have two sections of that class, and we're able to accommodate most people. Oh, great. So that's one of our new offerings. Um, in addition, after listening to parents and, and um, thinking about scheduling, we've added a Friday option to our youth sports fitness program. Oh which has been um, a really popular program mm -hmm. that went Monday through Thursday afternoon, and now we have a Friday option. Oh, right. Okay. So um, that will accommodate people who need to have a full week coverage for their kids. Awesome. What about other camps or classes that you would like to highlight? Well, um, this year we have a half-day drum camp. Oh. And this is really cool. Um, the instructor has been with us for a number of years, and he usually teaches within our day camps, mm -hmm. and he still will, but this year he's teaching a special one-week camp. Um, this gentleman is from Taos, and he um, drums all over the world. Um, oh. He's been... Um, he spends his winters in Mexico. This year he was in Australia and New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And he comes back and he teaches the kids wonderful drumming technique and also how to make some of their own instruments. Oh. And so during that one week they'll be making their own instruments and also um, practicing drumming skills and techniques. And I'm sure by the end um, the parents um, will have a treat in hearing their kids perform. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, some of the other things that are new this year are we have um, a series of dance classes in Rio Rancho. And they're taught by um, one of our instructors who is a dance teacher for the Rio Rancho Public Schools. Oh. And this is great because I know that the driving back and forth is often an issue. Mm -hmm. And um, the dance classes will take place in the dance studio at Rio Rancho High School. And okay. they run from preschool age to teen. And she's teaching everything from ballet and jazz to creative movement. And so um, that's something that I hope will get a great response mm -hmm. and that people will enjoy this summer. One of the highlights of our summer is um, we get a visit from Eric Teitelbaum, who is an instructor of ours and also um, a cartoonist. He produces the cartoon Pink Panther. Oh, okay. And so he comes in from California and offers just a couple classes a year. And this summer, two of them are going to be happening. One is called The Magic of Realistic Drawing. And he brings all the supplies and just inspires the kids and works with them on drawing realistically. Um, and then he also offers, for those kids interested in cartooning, a focused class on cartooning. Mm -hmm. And he even, um, at the end, talks about how they can submit their cartoons for publication. Oh, okay. And so, um, if kids are interested in art and looking to learn from an expert, mm -hmm. this is a great opportunity to build some of those skills. And he um, addresses how they can get their own portfolios together. Um, to to be able to prepare themselves for future opportunities. Okay, that sounds great. <laughs> what is the difference between the classes and the camps? Mm. Um, the classes tend to happen on a weekly basis, and some examples of those are like we have a golf class that happens every Wednesday, mm -hmm. um, where the camps tend to be compressed into daily programs for a period of time. And our camps run anywhere from a mini camp that's three days a week yeah. um, to uh, three weeks. Oh, wow. So there's a variety. Okay. Are you offering any new conferences this summer? We are. Um, we're offering a conference on transitioning to middle school. And this is for parents and kids. It's going to be fun and really hands-on. But I think maybe everyone who remembers, or maybe they've blanked it out, <laughs> what it was like to go from elementary to middle school, where mm -hmm. um, all of a sudden there's a bunch of people you don't know, a different schedule, lockers, no recess. Yeah. That's a really big transition. And so this conference is designed for parents and kids to support them both through making that transition and starting the school year off as strongly as possible. Oh, great. Can you tell us a little bit about the instructors? 
Sure. Um, our instructors, um, for most of our programs, tend to be professionals in their field. So um, they may be an artist, um, a drummer, um, depending on, on what they're teaching. Um, all of our instructors have a background in the areas that they're um, providing instruction for. And what's most important for parents to hear, I think, is that they've all undergone training and background checks. Oh, fantastic. So that um, you can be sure that the kids are with people who not only like to be with kids, but um, have gone through safety training and CPR and first aid, and, and knowing that your kids will be safe with the mm -hmm. instructors. Oh, great. Do you offer camps for teens as well as children? Yeah. Um, actually, we offer a lot of programs for teens. Um, one of our most popular ones is a film camp. Oh. And that lasts a week, and the um, teens who are involved actually make their own film. And oh. A couple of years ago, the film was sent to Santa Fe Film Festival and actually won a, a mention of some sort. Oh. So that's exciting. Um, we have an architecture camp for teens where they're getting to design buildings under the instruction of working architects. Mm -hmm. um, and then a wide variety of other classes for teens. So yeah, there um, is something for every age from 6 to 17. Okay, cool. Do you offer classes all year? We do. Um, we have the majority of classes in the summer when, when kids are available, but we do offer programs throughout the year, and so I encourage um, parents and students and kids and teachers to come look at our website at dce.unm.edu, and they can actually see what we're offering throughout the year. Okay, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>